Hey guys, we're back. I'm gonna see if this uh, this mic's working, or if the stream's working. That'd be nice. I'm gonna hit here. All right, and it looks like it's okay. Let me listen. All right, it looks okay, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll see. I'm sure everything will be fine, and the game will not. And I mean, it will not quit me out. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen, and, and, and the stream will be perfect. Perfect. It'll be. It'll be. It'll be better than perfect. Oh, it's rough and that's I wouldn't be able to tell. The computers lie to you. The computer will be on fire and say the, the cooling system is perfectly fine. Ah, my eggs! My eggs, they're well done! No! <laughs> Damn you, computer! I want it over easy! You gave me egg goo! You gave me green goo and ham! Look, we got a dove. No, that's not a dove. I've been tricked. I've been had. I've been bamboozled. I'll be going. <laughs> not a single shot hit. Did you see that? Yeah. Screw cars in this game. They're really bad. Not a single shot hit on the lock-on. <laughs> Why'd they make the cars like that? Simple. The game was gonna actually have cars be upgradable, but they never in implemented it. So now we get crap cars for crap, <laughs> crap, uh, crap fighting areas. Our favorite. Our favorite. Supposedly there was gonna be an upgrade and whatever, and that's, you know. It is what it is. This game was going to be a bit different as well. Uh, and it was probably going to be even more serious in tone, especially from the first trailers. You know, the one where Helena Pierce, you know, showed in. She was supposed to be a main character. She bar she's barely in this game. She's like a like a pit stop. Whoa, that guy. That guy's barely a main character. The only reason why I don't I don't like consider the Vault Hunters the main characters in this game. Maybe you could say that in 2, because they have a little bit more dialogue, but in 3, which is funny because 3 is the one where people actually mean, they actually mean the least. <laughs> Even though they talk the most. How'd that happen? Like, the plot probably would have happened without the Vault Hunters, you know? Could have been anyone. Perfect. That's a good stinger. Not perfect, though. You can get them to 241? Yeah. Yeah, you can get them up uh, about 20 more points and have better accuracy and a uh, scope on it. Yeah, for what I'm learning, I think scopes is what makes guns more expensive, like, by a lot in this game. And probably real life, too, now that you think about it. Hmm. Alright, so we got screwed on two hybrids. You know, big deal. We knew this was going to happen eventually. Uh... I'm not finished trying to get these hybrids. Oh yeah, there's one more hybrid that I never got either. The I, I never talked about it. Uh, the protector, see, uh, the little Migo Guardian. I think it is Guardian. Yeah, Chiquito Amigo um, uh, Guardian, which is basically the Chiquito Amigo gun with the uh, Tidor ammo regen. Chiquito Amigo is all right, but it's not. It's not. Anything too crazy? I, I don't remember getting an amazing one, and I don't remember people ever talking about. Oh, hey, it's kind of cool. It just can drop as a hybrid. Um, the ones I'm going for are a little bit more interesting. Um, like the ammo region ones, it's like, yeah, that's cool. But the dove one, the dove one doesn't use ammo. That's what that's that's the uh, yeah. But the dove one, yeah, the dove one doesn't use ammo. Period. You can't. You don't reload it. 
with the Dove Hornet, you don't reload ever. So do yeah. Alright, this guy is probably gonna make his way over here eventually. And he's gonna be disappointed because I'm gonna be disappearing. Man got a free magic trick though. And by the time he knows where I'm at, he's gonna be I'm gonna be so far away he might not even want to chase me. Or ten minutes later he'll be on me. Be kinda cool if he Jason to me the entire game. Yeah. Maybe he'll haunted gave me. I thought I was gonna jump further. Oh, yeah. The one thing I don't like about this gun is that um, you get the reload very often on Lilith where she doesn't reload her gun. Which not too it's not too bad, but on certain guns that have slow reload like this one. Like this gun's reload's pretty slow. Yeah, see, then, then again, I, I hit the button twice thinking I could fire. And then it, 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 that glitch activates a lot with this. Where basically, uh, she doesn't have ammo in. Basically, it's it's using the free ammo, but because of how Lilith is, she doesn't actually use ammo. See, there, it just did it again, uh, where I tried to fire. Um, so what happens is you end up having a zero magazine with Lilith not reloading. Uh, where characters usually reload after they fire the last shot. Now it's not a big deal, but the fact is Lilith can get more than two shots in the thing. She only got... There you go, there's three shots right there. She can get more than uh, more than uh, two shots. And with, with a gun like that, you know, more than two shots is actually... Like, like it's that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, there was four right there. So what I tend to do is I tend to actually just hold down the magazine, and the glitch doesn't activate nearly as often. It's basically when you fire and then let go. So don't, you know, don't be afraid to just hold down the button with these guns. You have ammo. I let go. See how it didn't reload? Yeah. Yeah, because I let go. So if you let go, hit the R button. <laughs> that man must play a lot of Fortnite. He knew the he knew the tactic. He knew the tactic. To get banned. <laughs> How dare you do that in my video game? Banned for life, my dudes. Mother! Mother! The little child is T. Gross, fuck that. <laughs> this turn, this Timmy Turner child is ruining my Fortnite game. <laughs> that does seem like a fairly odd joke, huh? In all fairness, that's what I've been doing. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this gun's pretty good. Ooh, that one's... Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Very low damage for snipers, you know? And if you get the times 2 multiplier, it only does the normal damage of a sniper, plus the chance of a proc for fire damage. Not the best. I don't know how... I don't know how... Elemental damage in this game is weird, to say the least. It's super powerful sometimes, and other times it's much weaker, depending on what gun you've been using. Right, three shots. The guys in the back shooting me are pissing me off, so we're gonna have to deal with these guys. That's why I like. Oh, okay, this guy's gonna be tough. Maybe not that tough. Thought he was gonna dodge more. Luckily, those guys are very slow, so they're easy to hit. Corrosive in this game is very strong. Um, it, it applies corrosive with debuff, which enemies take more damage from other sources, including corrosive. 
I still wish Slag did something more than just debuff the enemy. I would have liked it if the debuff was like slower enemy running speed or what I'm doing to these guys, which is basically I'm making them miss more shots and fire slower. This gun is actually, this might be it actually. No. No, it's not it. But yeah, I took that guy out. Those guys are weak, though. Damn. I'm watching people uh, play a lot of um, like multiplayer shooters, and boy howdy, it's like this. They're like this. It's like it's like okay. And it's like like that's cool and all, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be caught looking at a chest, eh? Also, item management's pretty good too. Looks like it's very important. So you have to be able to change your your stuff pretty good. And then and then and then the guy just cheats and uses aimbot, and you're dead anyway. So yeah, would never recommend ever using it. That's stupid, man. You know, it's one thing to play a game against an AI and whatever. You know, freaking mod the hell out of Skyrim to where your guy just insta kills everything. Big difference when you're playing against other people in the competitive setting, and you you literally just run over someone <laughs> with a car in a basketball match. It's like yeah, what? Well, technically, no one said I couldn't. And it's like it's literally the first rule: don't run over people, don't cheat. Yeah, but I bought the game. Yeah, so did they. <laughs> You wanna play that game? You wanna play that multiplayer game? You play that multiplayer game alone, my dude. <laughs> you play it with bots. Oh yeah, I'm a big advocate of um bots in uh in games to where like cause all these live services now, once they're down, there's no point in ever playing the game again. And it sucks. You know? And I know a lot of people don't play Smash for story, or they don't play Call of Duty for story. It's mostly just they jump into multiplayer right away, but yeah. Um, once the multiplayer is gone, though, what what do you have left? You know. <laughs> Why well, I like games with these because you know they're not always reliant on finding people. Um, I'm hoping Deep Rock is like that. I'm hoping Deep Rock is like that once it goes down. Um, I don't think it will go down anytime soon because it looks pretty. Pretty easily right now. That I'm I'm surprised at how good that game is. The only thing I don't like is the um the uh, dedicated servers or not the dedicated the um the peer to peer servers. Dedicated might make the game a bit better, but it depends. That way you'd be able to troubleshoot easier on on what's happening because because yeah. Then again, I mean I don't think I don't think uh was multiverse peer to peer. I don't think it was. All right, nice. We got skunked, meaning we got nothing. We got stunked. All right, now that might be something. That is a Torg. <laughs> now this is why you'd want a Torg, Torg assault rifle. That's 500 damage, my dude. Look at this. Look at my other assault rifles. Don't look at that one. 300, 300, 300, 200, 400. A lot of these are are what you would think, and then there's this bitch, and and they can get better than this apparently. They can get better. You can tell by the um by the price, uh, the lack of scope, and uh, the lack of accuracy. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's why I wanted uh, to do a brick Torg build. Torg themselves don't really make that many good legendaries. The only one of exception I, I think is the Cobra. And it's one of the better sniper rifles too. But like Tor, they make the Gasher, the Violator. Both of those are okay. They are sort of like the same gun. Um, they make the Redemption, which is okay for Brick, but other and, and Roland and Roland. But other characters, it either kills them or or it doesn't do enough damage, even though it's like 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 significantly higher damage. Because I'm running the Undertaker, and it doesn't feel nearly as good on Lilith as in any other gun. And 
Lunar Redemption has the same problem. It's a rocket launcher, and it does less damage than the Undertaker and fires two rockets to use it. So it's only okay on Brick and Roland. Brick and Roland can increase the explosive damage, plus they can do um, ammo regen, which is really important for rockets. Rocket gameplay is really, really heavy on ammo. And it's why it's no good. It's it's like the like the Iridian weapons, you know, other weapons you have a longer duration of fire until you're out of like that usable thing. Rockets and um Iridian ammo really quickly go away. Iridians is the fastest though, you get like two or three shots per magazine, and then you're down for like 10, 20 seconds of not being able to do damage. Whereas other games the damage is the DPS is like way higher. The burst damage on Iridian weapons is okay. And on the Thunderball and the um, the Thunder the Thunder one, that one's really strong, but they are not worth it in the long run on a lot of games, a lot of um, maps. Same thing with Rocket Launchers. You did good damage to a lot of enemies at once, but certain maps just kill it. You can't do anything about it. Alright, I didn't see him drop the um, nailer, so we're going to head over here, open this chest, and we'll restart this run. And then maybe we'll head to... Um, Craw. Because I'm getting to the point where it's like, yeah, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna actually try and get drops now. You know, there's one thing that plays the game, something that just constantly just get garbo on. Yeah. In all fairness, I should cut out this. I should cut out Trash Coast, and I think I will. This is gonna be my last Trash Coast one probably for a while, and we'll just do the the farming because Trash Coast is not gonna give me a hybrid. It's only gonna give me the nailer. And the, and the run itself is kind of long. With other characters, Lilith makes it kind of short, but other characters, it's pretty long. Make sure to hit this for ammo. No ammo? Okay, cool. Alright, get that for, for a speed boost. Nice. But yeah, I've been enjoying Deep Rock a lot, but yeah. I've been having trouble with servers and... Uh, getting kicked out at the last second um, in missions and then once you get kicked out you don't get rewards usually or you sometimes do but you sometimes don't it's very if you're infuriating to do a mission for like 20 plus minutes play relatively good have a good mission and then have it have the game just crap itself and kick you out without being able to join in and not getting a reward you know it makes it really hard for me and DL to actually synchronize missions when one of us is, is, is going to be able to complete it, and the other one just gets kicked out at the last second. And the game has done it for a while. It did it to him uh, It did it to him when I was hosting, it does it to me when he's hosting. Um, it's why I would think, um, it's why I said a dedicated servers might be better to have. Alright. Alright. I want to just run past this guy. He did the Cromerics run. <laughs> he did the I'm not in a view run so I can run super fast run. A lot of games love that. Killing Floor 2. That's a Killing Floor 2 staple, man. That and teleporting. People really hate the teleporting Zeds and it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what's coming up and the last thing you want to do is kill a crappy crappy guy that teleported in front of you. And then, and then because you killed him... Um, you get a flesh pounder spawning in right next to you, kicking you through a wall. And they do kick you through walls when they can. They'll do it. That's a, that's a main staple of games now, isn't it? <laughs> kicking people through walls. Remember when the AI used to get caught on walls? Yeah, that was, let's go back to that. <laughs> let's go back to that. Next, you know, the next update. The next update in Minecraft like, oh yeah, creepers can see through glass. <laughs> Creepers can see through glass. Oh my god, that'd be... Oh my god. Oh my, and he'd wait outside the door. He'd just sit outside the door waiting for your dumbass to open the door. Pre-pre-explode. Bye-bye, hardcore world. There you gone. That guy's a stomper. No, he doesn't. Oh, hello. Yeah, but Lilith is so strong. A lot of her bullets we don't need to kill guys with. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, he just blew up because he, he decided that I was too strong. Don't throw a grenade at me, I think. Alright, we'll go this way. There's one more guy shooting at me, but we can ignore him for now. I will just use this easier. And let me see. Thank you. That was a lot of shots on that one. I don't think he has it. Yeah. Now, I don't think he has it because he's. I'm not hearing multiple explosions. He definitely doesn't have it. Nope. Basically, if he fires a gun, you're probably going to understand what he had. Because it's pretty common. It goes... It fires multiple. Alright, and once again, nothing good for us. So we can head out. Actually, having this guy over here is pretty good because we could shoot him and get a speed boost on the way out. Alright, he's going to burn too. He might actually die to that. Come on, pal. You know you want to. Give me the goat. Uh, he's not going to do it. Give me, give me the goat. He didn't do it. He ate it. He could have been the goat. <laughs> right, it's okay though. We get our catalyst back. Our catalyst gets our um, action skills so back so quickly. We don't need them. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. Yeah, I like doing multiple words at the same time, not finishing one. Yeah, put that out, my dude. Yeah. In all fairness, I don't understand how um, fire is so effective against these guys. When you would think that the big ass pellet that went through their skull would have been the thing that actually was a big problem. Maybe we're firing like cotton candy and like maybe it's like napalm. Well, you see that? That guy has a fire resist shield. He, he knew what I was doing. I don't see how these guys resist fire. They remind me of Krieg though. Krieg was pretty fun. He had problems though. Sometimes you get those um, annoying, annoying chances of smacking yourself in the face over and over again. And yeah, you'd definitely go down. And if you didn't have a good weapon, like a rocket launcher, to get back up, you, that would be it. Krieg could rampage and then go down. Because cause he hit himself. <laughs> Which, you know, yabos. But yeah, that's what you do on a lot of the Krieg mobbing things. I don't know. I, I liked Borderlands too. I felt like you got a little bit too involved near the end. You would have to know so much shit. The early game was really fun though. Where stuff is usable. In this game, you know, you know, I feel like a lot of stuff is usable. And you could pretty much get anything from anywhere. You didn't have to kill a certain boss over and over again to get the volcano, for instance. Or Borderlands 2, you had the your, your farming bosses. And chests were for class mods. And grenades. I mean, you technically could get, you know, legendaries out of chests, but it was better to actually go for the one you wanted because a lot of them were not very good in the late game. Early game, you wouldn't even need to do a lot of legendary farming either. It was easy enough. Um, it was funny because I my first introduction to Borderlands was Borderlands 2, and I liked it a lot. And then I played the game um, vanilla without anything modded into it. And boy howdy, and this was years ago by the way. You could go through an entire entire run of the full story and not get a single legendary drop. And even even like you might not even get certain purples either. Let's shoot the guy that's shooting me. Okay, with the SMG over here. He's gonna burn pretty good. 
Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. There's so many guys here though, you could just aim. Little guy hanging next to me. I didn't even see him when he got over. Yeah, with those little guys, you have to actually aim at their chest to hit their head. With how they run. Alright, we have some good shit here. Nice. I thought that was a Torque Sniper. It's actually dull. That's cool. Nothing good? Nothing good. Yeah, dull don't really make that many good um, elemental weapons. He actually took a lot of damage from that next shot. That might be the times two multiplayer or whatever. Or is it times one? I think it's times two. If we can get one that's times two, it'll be even stronger. When we proc stuff. Yeah, so I gotta quit hitting the button. I gotta just hold it down. guy right there. So we're going to shoot this guy out in the open. See the guy sitting over there? So I'm going to pop him. He's going. Alright, somebody help that man. He needs it. Get that guy some milk. He has that, he has that dot put on him. He has that witch poison. I'm surprised I missed that first shot. Alright, I'm gonna hit uh, hit him, I'm gonna burn him like that, and then... Let's see what he has. He might actually have something good. He does not. But, let's take a look at him. He does not. And we are getting skunked, diddly hunked. Well, good news is we could head to, um, to what's his face? We didn't get anything here either, huh? Cool. Alright, we'll take that run. Look at him to reset the, the kill. And then we'll just run our ass all the way out. Once again. You have no idea. This run is so much longer with other characters. Like, doing this on Mordecai, it takes so long because you can't just ignore enemies like Lilith can. Because Mordecai is much more squishy. You have to, like, kill them or you have to, like, run past them in a certain way. And if one guy has a shock weapon, down you go. <laughs> um, basically, uh, with that, you definitely want to, if you want to do that run, I think maybe have a Bloodwing build. Bloodwing and maybe a revolver or shotgun or something really fast to be able to just hit people and then and then you just throw out the uh the bird and the bird just wrecks people no no you want a sniper so you can get more you get the bird back right away and you just shoot the guy once with the skull masher or something then you'll be fine yeah Mordecai has a perk where if you shoot someone with the sniper rifle it gets the bird back quicker and then you could just do that and spam the bird and the bird will actually wreck those guys because he puts slow on them as well I feel like Lilith is like very strong compared to the other ones. Maybe not in terms of like like as damaging, but she definitely like has a lot that trivializes the dangers of the game, which is basically speed. She has speed, which is a big thing that trivializes a lot of the game. And it's why it's why developers I think they make the characters, the enemies, to be able to keep up with the fastest characters, which that's fine and all right. You know, you don't want the fast guys to be able to just run circles around your guys. But the thing is, is, like, if you don't balance the other guys around not having movement speed, yeah, kind of puts a lot of pressure on a team game. You know, like Gunslinger and Sharpshooter, people hated because 
a lot of times, um, if a team started to wipe, they would just be running around the map for like a half hour, killing each uh, one set at a time until finally you could actually complete the wave. And if they failed near the end, oh, oh, it was bad. And the reason why it's put on their shoulders is because they actually have speed that be, I'll be able to outrun enemies where other characters had to fight. They'd be able to, you know, they do like, um, uh, Killing Floor 2 had this thing where it, an enemy could hit you and they would boost you. Um, and what you do is like if a flesh pound was coming at you, you would jump and block at the same time. And he would hit you and he'd knock you far away. So you'd, have, you'd be a little bit safer. And all characters could do that, including the gunslinger. And eventually, um, you know, you, that's how you'd be able to do it. Do the maps. Alright, I think we'll I think we'll farm this a little bit. We'll farm this for four or five kills, maybe. I don't know. Ah, I didn't see a drop. I did not see a drop actually. So yay, yay for us. What about you over here? Anything good? TDR double anarchy. Uh, pretty weak one actually. All right. So yeah, we're gonna head to Kron a bit. I think we'll um, either farm this guy or the Dove Hornet for, for like four or five kills because it's like, what's the point? You know, I don't think we're going to get, I think, I think this is going to, I don't think I'm ever going to get these drops to be honest. Um, and I don't want to be like super obsessive about having to get this drop. Like if I never get it, I never get it. It's why I'm, it's why I'm going to go to Krom Erickson a little bit because it's like no point in spending four hours of your life every day for eight months and never getting the drop rather than spending like 20 30 minutes trying to get it um every other day and then and then not getting it but still being able to play the game and enjoy it <laughs> you know because this guy himself is like you know he, he just runs at, he barks at you a little bit too i didn't see anything drop from him but we'll take a look at him yeah, it's his drop. He dropped his his, uh, his 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 relic that we don't need. All right, anything over here? Uh, yes, SMG we have to look at. Cool. Yeah, Torg weapons they do they do a lot of damage. They're cool. I like them. Now, this character does not have a lot of Torg weapons. I do want to run one on Brick. I think Brick would be fun with Atlas. I did. I think I did an Atlas run with Brick one time for the Ogre. And then I swapped over to, um, whatever. I forget what I did. But yeah, um, Brick, Brick's pretty fun. He gets a lot of damage on his, um, on his explosive guns. And with Revenge, he can really rinse people pretty good, especially if he has an Ogre or a Hammer or a Crux. But if he doesn't have those weapons, he's like he's like pretty good. He's still pretty good. Um, I feel like the other characters eventually get stronger near the end game, but Brick Brick doesn't need that many skill points compared to the other characters. You know, Brick's survivability is pretty good. It isn't until later where characters get access to more skills that Brick tends to be not as flexible. Um, I feel like out of all the characters, Brick is pretty dependent on on gear. On, on late game, like for Brick, I de like it. Like when I'm in, when I'm in the DLC, if I'm not playing Lilith or like Roland, uh, that that can regen the shields on kill, I definitely run on Mordecai and Brick, um, shock resistance shields because it's like, like it's so good to run that because you get a second shot to not die. You know, because even Brick, even Brick is su as strong as Brick is. He is not as strong. As, as those those guys that come out and shoot with shock weapons all at once because they they will rinse a shield and bricks a big target and there he is no is that where is he there he is there we go I didn't see anything get drop we'll grab the money though um okay, where's the second weapon right, there's a shield and Extra drop two shields. Aw oh, man, I can't believe you. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. 
and the pre-sequel. The pre-sequel was pretty good, but it, it had its own problems, too. Like, all these games are good in their own way, but they all have problems that keep them from, you know, being like, ooh, this is the best one, you know? Borderlands 2 gameplay is pretty good, but near the end game, the scaling gets ridiculous and very time wasty in just normal gameplay. You say this is pretty time wasty. Yes, this is this is wasting my time uh, doing this. This is for specifically a rare drop and nothing else. This does not affect my gameplay whatsoever. I'll still be as bad as I can. But it's a it's a rare item I want. That's what we're gonna I'm collecting. Borderlands 2 you can collect as well um, for stuff, but they don't ever get as crazy as, oh, these two weapons combined into one. Yeah, that's what a hybrid is. Two weapons that, it's a weapon with two unique parts to it that make it a hybrid. And they can spawn in. It's gonna run up on him. Oh, uh, he actually misses, uh, why is it, that's the second man that spawned right next to me. Two in a row, the same flame guy, huh? Cool. I don't know what happened. Be a bit careful over here now. Alright, this guy is. I hate when they do this. I hate when they spawn in a badass and I have to, like, legit <laughs> legitimately have to deal with them. The other guys can kind of ignore, but the other guys, like, he dropped like three or four weapons. I have to take a look. Alright, so. The only reason why I'm being a little bit crazy is because the weapon is a, a legendary. And it, it might be hard to see with all the money. I, In fact, I wish he didn't drop money. Period. Alright. Because it gets hard to see with the fire. Alright, so we'll do like two more kills on him and then we'll run to crawl. But yeah, with all the characters in this game, I feel like... um. I, with all the excuse me, with all the Borderlands games, I have not played three yet. I heard three story. What people didn't like about three was the story, which is crazy because that wasn't a big problem with the other games. So it's funny that 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 three potentially had the best gameplay loop, modifiers, whatnot, but then the story stunk, or people didn't like the story for whatever reason, and that's weird, <laughs> you know. Uh, I think the main complaint, like, people's, you know, if you don't like a character or whatever, but I feel like the main complaint of people saying, yeah, it really didn't feel like our vault, vault characters mattered in the grand scheme of things because they would ignore you in dialogue, they, you know, or, like, during, you know, beat-specific moments, you know, where, where you were just there. It's like, yeah, um, I don't know why they did that. That's very weird. There's a reason why in oh that's an interesting one. Oh look at that. I didn't that, that ain't cool. I didn't really I didn't really have that. Stop it. That's oh that's the good melee damage too. That's the one that actually actually works correctly, I think. The two hundred. The dove. Sometimes I reload. Yeah. One thirty eight. One eighty, yeah. That's cool. We need something like this as well. All right, I ain't seen Garbo. Really cool. All right. Well, that was cool. At least I'm not gonna grab it though. Maybe I should. I don't know. I said I didn't like the fire weapon, right? I remember I said I didn't like it, even though I farmed for it. Pretty cool. Being able to just pop him with this. One hit. Alright, um, I'll say this. I'll say this. Maybe I will just drop this one. Uh, and, and then we'll drop this one for the Dove Hornet. How about this? We'll call this an upgrade until we find the Dove Hornet. Cool. 
Alright, cool. At least we got something cool. Yep, the dove. Sometimes I don't reload. Cool. But yeah, we're looking for something like this. It's just going to call the BLR Hornet or just the Hornet. And that's going to be its its gimmick. I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like that gun's pretty strong. But yeah, um Yeah, we'll drop off that dove. I remember specifically I, I put that dove on my character. And I felt like, oh well, it wasn't very good and I was really hitting guys. The dove that I got right now, the one with the melee attachment, is not particularly better than what I than what with the other one. So yeah, these two doves are actually pretty pretty poopy. To be honest. Yeah, they're pretty poopy. Although it would have been nice to actually have a fire weapon on the dove. Oh well, what can you do? We have we'll get a fire anaconda, right? Yeah. <laughs> that'll be our that'll be our thing. Those things hit like a truck anyway. Alright, uh let's go. Let's go farm crow, I guess. Oh, we'll do one more. Why not? Yeah, dove's gone. Let's not go to online because no one, the only people that play online are the people that <laughs> cheat <laughs> right now. <laughs> Get brick for that infinite inventory. Hard to say what my favorite Borderlands is. I definitely like one the most. I'm I'm pretty sure one's my favorite. Um, I liked pre sequel a lot, but one just keeps drawing me back to the loot hunt rather than just playing the game. Like the game itself is pretty fun. Bullets bullets are a little lackluster and gameplay itself is very run, stand, shoot, run, stand, shoot type mechanic. Borderlands 2 had way more things going on. You know, you had, to, you had to do different elemental types. You had the, you had the, um, s you know, slag enemies, and then strip shields, and then do this. And it's like, yeah, that's a lot of busy work for a for a game for a first person shooter, where the enemies can just shoot you once and kill you. You know. Yeah. yeah I don't think it's gonna be that strong in Slither. Right, we'll pop this guy. So there, please quit jumping at me. Please start punching. Oh, and then we have to. Yep, yeah, there we go. There's a guy that came up. You saw him, the big guy. Yep. So now he has to. We have to now deal with his ass. Oh, he wants to fly towards me too. Cool. Well, he gets to get shot. And I keep, I keep getting lumped everywhere because every enemy is pushing me. Why are you not dying? Please die. There we go, thank you. There you are. I got excited because I thought that was a red... A red thing for a second, but it wasn't as money. Alrighty, I ain't seen you. Grobo. You seen the BLR Hornet? Cause I ain't. <laughs> Alright, I didn't think you'd drop it. If you did, it would've been really nice. Yeah, that, that, that's how it do though. That's how it do. So yeah, let's head the Nox now. Um, I don't want to fight these guys anymore. I don't know why I used that gun specifically. I just wanted to test it out. That gun itself really doesn't feel that powerful, but I I did test it out and it did feel pretty good on the human enemies. Maybe because I wasn't using the thing. I don't know. 
I know for a fact that for the for the the dove, I did use the doll com that boosted damage, and it didn't really feel like it mattered that much. All right, T Bone Junction. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um we're gonna go to T Bone, you know. I'm gonna throw on this the uh, the Hornet. The Hornet's really good. The ones uh, surprisingly this is the best Hornet I found because apparently they get even better, and I feel like this one's really good. Although the Hornet does get outclassed by the Defiler, I'm not even gonna even pretend it doesn't. And he really thinks I like I care about the bounty board right now. Bro, we got Cromerics, man. Cromerax, Cromerics, whatever his name is. But yeah. Not much to say right now. We're just driving our uh, slowly down here. We'll, we'll, we'll farm Carmer X a few times and we'll try Farmer, I guess, whatever. And then we'll uh, be done, I guess, again. Alright, so we're gonna hop out and we're gonna just shoot this guy. See, pretty strong, right? It's pretty strong. Those are a tough enemy. What if we go over here to the professional comm, throw this on? It didn't really matter much of a difference, did it? Should've. I felt pretty strong actually. I think I was missing. I, I I swear the damage is more. I swear. Come on, button. Why you hide? No hide. You know it feels. I, I'm gonna hide over here. I guess yeah. Get away from that. Why is that hit? That hit? That, wow, that actually did hit me, huh? But this is the shit I'm talking about, man. They hit you, your shield's still recharging, but boom, you're gone. She gone. Is this actually applying? Is this a dull weapon? Yeah, it is. I didn't feel nearly as strong as it should be. Hard to see. Watch it. The watch. The watch it now and actually count. No, I swear it does. It does actually damage enemies. Maybe it doesn't do elemental. I don't know. It should though. It's hard to say. Oh, there's a guy shooting me in the face. He has a good gun. Yeah, you just have to mash. Because this gun's a burst fire gun. Oh my god, imagine if this gun was a, uh, a fully auto. Oh my god. It tried. It tried the blow up. It's, it didn't have to explode. Alright, we're gonna... Alright, so his pistol? What the hell type of pistol? Yeah, that looks like a fallout pistol. That's definitely a white pistol. That's not a good pistol at all. It's a, it's a protector. Yeah. Or Peter. I gave him a lot of credit saying it was a protector. Uh, the protectors are the um, legendary pistol for uh, uh, for TDR. Okay, we have bad run. We have bad. We have bad mechanic right now. That's cool. But yeah, it's pretty good. How much is the plague bearer? Plague might actually be stronger. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Let's go back on Catalyst. Get our team finder items up.
But yeah, this gun's good. Mm. Yikes. This doesn't bode well for me. Let's get out of here. I don't know why the game wants to be such a, a bumbo right now. That's like nothing. Alright, should be hitting cross soon. Just gotta wait for this to reload. The other thing about the Nox DLC is there's a lot of downtime just driving from place to place, which isn't bad, but when it lo all look the same, yeah. Also, I find it funny that DL kept finding dead Noxes under the map. Oh yeah, I, th I think I finally figured out why why Nox is under the map. It's because when he's under the map, um, he t he's technically talking, right? Like there's, th like every map he talks on, I think they give him um, a, a body underneath the map that doesn't show up. Um, so you could actually hear him talk. At least that's why I'm thinking it's done. Alright, let's see you. Yeah, you see any grumbles? Yay. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine! Get out! Bail! I'm not gonna hit my uh, speed boost right now. I'm gonna wait until after we get into Cross Lair. But yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for a much better, um, much better uh, pistol. They they can get much better because uh, this is only like for the uh, like believe it or not, this is not a very good uh, <laughs> good one apparently. All right, we have everything. Alright, that's nearly down. Alright, so if you look at the stats, yeah. They look pretty good actually. What's crazy is the, the money. Why is the money price so low on it? You know? Generally the better the weapon is, the more pricier it is, unless it has like, you know, special special thing about it. With that, there's no reason why that shouldn't be much higher priced. So yeah. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find a hornet, a good, a good one. An even better one. Yeah, I like the hornets a lot. They're pretty good. Heck, with, with Plague Bear, it might have done, done even better. Alright, one, two, three. We start running. Here we go. He's running slow, too, so it should be fine. Let me do this right Jump a few times. I'm surprised that that third shot didn't hit his arm. First two were misses, but that third one was. Where's your arm, my dude? dude? Dude. Let me see your damn arm, please. Thank you. I'm gonna block it just in case. I'm seeing a good sniper rifle, and that is uh, equalizer. Nice. Oh, that's a hornet. I saw a hornet. I saw a hornet. That's not a hornet at all. Who lied to me? There's that equalizer. There, is that the hornet? Oh no, it's not, it was the violator. 
No. Oh no. Why'd they do that to me? Oh no. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, we got a lot of equalizers. Oh, is that the horn? No. Now that's that's a brick gun right there. Mm. Times one, right? You know I think it's like two hundred, right? Yeah, two hundred nine. Well, the good news is I'm seeing a lot of interesting drops. The bad news is I don't think there's anything particularly great. Ah, here we go. No, that's not. That's not a Draco. The barrel doesn't have the right part. Alright. Uh, blast Sniper. Oh, here we go. Nope. Tormentor. Alright. I have to look at you now. not better yeah crazy right <laughs> all right um yeah nope nope the times two is good I'm not seeing anything else that's really worth looking at. I'll take a quick look, though. There we go. There's a masher. Yeah. They dropped a lot of pistols, which I was really excited for. Not seeing anything I want, though. So, yeah. <gasps> Time to restart. Alright, nothing. Nothing. Alright, let's go. The fact that they gave me such a crappy start is crazy. <laughs> it's scary. It's no goo is what I'm saying. We'll do a few more. We'll do a few more kills and then we'll head out. Done, 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 done. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Alright, let's go. What's crazy is I didn't have to fire on any other enemy than Chromerics. Now this map, I, I have a feeling that we're going to get unlucky and get like three, four Chrom maggots. And a few Chrom worms. But yeah, the purple guys, if you get them in a good... Like, it's very AI dependent too, whether or not how hard this fight is. Because sometimes the AI just wants your ass dead. Like when it wants you as dead, it'll it'll have Chromerics run at you, jump, and then kill you, and and then and then depending on how the AI de behaves, the ads might just teleport to the other side of the map, and they they've done that to me. It's like, great, I, I love how you you wanted to kill me, but then did you have to run away too? Alright, so yeah, we already have a bad one. He's teleporting to me, so we run. Yeah, where is he? I don't know where he is. He should be getting close. Yeah, there he is. He's gonna jump at me from the side. And I had to hit that. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about with the AI. It's always weird. Pop him a little bit. Come on, please die. Thank you. Nope, you're not dead yet. Okay. 
I was kind of hoping he'd have died to that. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. Okay. Can I get my shield back. They do try and trap you, that's kind of cool. Wait. Oh, wrong button. Alright, where's. Where's your arm, my dude? And lure you over this way a little bit. Okay. I don't know what caused their AI to do that, but that's cool. Alright. Come on, crawl. Come on, baby. There we go. Uh, not as many, it looks like. Be like equalizers. <laughs> Looks like that's that's what we're getting tonight. Uh, extreme. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Let's take a looky though. Extreme two four. Yeah, not as good. And a gamble. That might be an upgrade. That actually is an upgrade. I think. Come on, switch it, my dude. That. Oh, wait, it's the exact same one. What? Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, well. 2.7, this one has a better, better thing. Alright. Vidal. Yeah, these defender comms are a little bit sad to see. There's a three shot. I got excited for that guy. That guy could have been interesting. Uh, ooh, good Surkov. Good masher. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. They don't really have good ones like that. It's kind of rare. Another sweeper. Yeah, those sweepers are cool. Uh, I think they're... Oh, here we go. Remember when I said they can get better? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's pretty strong, too. Yeah, I don't think I'm seeing anything too important here now. Um... Might have to go over, take a run back. But yeah, that Mauler was pretty good. I think the Mauler we found last time, though, had more damage. But that was based on the barrel. There's a barrel on the assault rifles that give it crap accuracy, but really strong damage. Alright, I ain't seeing anything special, so yeah, we could head out. Punching Pounder's pretty good. What? Kind of slow fire rate though. Uh, 531, huh? Compared to what? I really think the Stomper beats it out by a lot. Yeah. Alright, Stomper wins. That one's tempting though. That one's tempting, but I think the Stomper's uh, burst shot beats it out. Because it fires faster. You miss more shots, Yabos, stuff like that. Alright, I'm going to take a quick looky Lou. Any pearls hiding? Nope. Any pearls hiding? Nope. Alright. 
I'm looking for stuff that looks like a weird color, you know, because you see a lot of greens, purple, whatever, but you can see a lot of like the weird blue color. Like a cyan or, or pearlescent sometimes. The pearlescent, pearlescent people describe that shit looks like. They can make that thing look like any color. Like pearlescent in, um, in what, Saints Row? That could have been any color. That, that thing's like, hey, you make pearlescent? Yeah. It's like, it I, think, I think it just meant shiny. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head out, and what, this is the third kill that we're going for. So we'll do that. We'll do them two, two or three more times, depending on uh, how I feel. I just don't want to keep farming him. Um, you farm him too long, you crash your game. We don't get to see Nox. Not that I care about Nox. I don't. But it'd be nice to see him. With Nox, maybe we'll just throw on the Plague Bear Com and use this. That way we won't have to deal with him for too long, because he's he's a he's an interesting boss fight, but um, the health recovery system, like he's not even that interesting to be honest. He's just a big freaking tank that walks at you. Like the boss fights in this game aren't particularly, like you, they don't have a lot of phases. And in fact, a lot of Borderlands boss fights don't really have too crazy up until the pre sequel. The pre sequel actually felt like the bosses were bosses, to be honest. Where they would have phases, they would have second forms, you know, oh, phases, second forms, same thing, really. But you know what I mean. You know, what I'm saying is, is that they just didn't feel like they were a tankier enemy of the same enemy that you fought like eight times. Pop the arm. Get the hell out of that arm. Now we have to deal with these guys because there's a lot of them. He gets a shot like this. Alright, it's gone. And these two are running at me. So we're gonna pop both of them. Cool. Uh, that guy did a lot of damage in the second time. Could actually throw it. All right, so now I'm gonna have to um hit my uh, bitch out mechanic and ignoring the enemies. These enemies, especially these guys, you have to respect because look how look at that shit. It's crazy. We'll hide here while he's waiting. We'll continue running on. He should spawn in soon anyway. There he is. Expecting to get the kill on here, I thought I was gonna have to nope out for a second. That's another equalizer. Lovely. Love seeing that. <laughs> oh my god, there's only like three. Oh my god, there was just no, no, no legendaries. What? Oh, why they have to tease so? <laughs> oh, you make me angry, Chromerics. Should have worn one of these, Chromerics. Ooh! Oh man, I don't think I have. I, I think I don't have good electric one. Yeah. One twenty-five times three. Oh no! Look at that. Oh no! It's so much better. But I don't want to get rid of this. But it's so much better. Look at that. Like, it does more damage. It has less of a proc rate, though. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, uh, hold off for a second. 
only because I've been collecting these, not because I need a good electric SMG. But it's very hard to find a good doll electric SMG. Now that's a shotgun. That's a good one. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. In all fairness, though, I think we have much better dolls. Yeah. Desert shotgun and I think another desert shotgun. Yeah, Matador beats it out. I really have two Desert Matadors, eh? Why? Oh, okay, two shot versus the other shot. Bloody Equalizer, uh, yeah. It's really sad when you're like you're really scrubbing for stuff. All right, yeah, this is the most interesting one I've seen. I'll take a quick look at my SMG, see what I I have. All right, so we have that one. That could be times four, but they're so weak though. That's like four hundred per shot on the uh, potentially. And they look more like they're going to be like this type of damage. I really should think about getting rid of it. <sighs> oh. Alright, I'm going to actually hold off for right now. Oh, but that accuracy, though. Dude, this one feels so much stronger. I don't want to get rid of it, though. I think I might, though. I... <sighs> In all fairness, it's so hard to find a good one anyway. Like, even that one is not as good as what I have on this, you know. It's close, but it's not better. What? Why is this one higher? Tell you what, if we get a times four one like this, maybe we'll try that out. Because times four seems, uh, yeah, I don't know. Versus 70, that is more in the magazine too. Versus this reload, which I think is the same. Now that reloads much faster, too. Alright, I'm gonna say this, right? I think this one's better. I, uh, I still haven't decided fully, but it's 90%. It's I'm gonna keep this one. I was trying to collect them, but in all fairness, like, like it's so hard to find a good Wildcat anyway that... This one actually looked very good, so we'll we'll drop that for now, and we'll decide later, because those are very hard to find. Um, like generally, you find the the non-elemental wildcats, and and all honesty, that one was one of the few wildcats that actually worked. But that the one that I have on me just looks like it works better. Um, like that new one. 
better fire rate, better accuracy, um, uh, less less uh, elemental damage, but you know that's how it go. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. There... I don't know. We'll see. We still have like what two more? Yeah, we'll kill Chromax one more time after this. But yeah, that one it's 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 close. It's close to the going away because. The odds of me finding a better one of those was pretty rare. I think I remember finding that too. It was like in the um, the Crimson Tollway that was on the other side of the map, um, past T-Bone Junction. It was like on instead of going this way, we went the opposite way. Um, and I remember being like, "Ooh, you don't often find those." And I remember using the gun and saying, "Like, oh, it's okay." With this gun, this gun might actually be good. Um. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll wait in a second. The times three damage is pretty good, though. Alright. Alright. Oh, they're and they're gonna come running in, so I'm gonna have to come running out. I wanna get hit. Hit. I think. Yep. Yeah, okay. Cool. Awesome. And that's all I needed. That's all I needed was him to destroy his shell. Alright, I'm mashing the <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Kill this guy, I guess. He's popped. And there, most of his arms are gone. And that guy had to hide. I'm gonna start, uh, I'm actually gonna pop over here. I'm actually surprised I hit him. He normally does a weird turn that way, and I got nothing again! Did I put in the wrong thing? Do I not have the, uh, no, I do have the Team Pioneer items, what the heck? Ooh, that is an upgrade. I think that's upgrade. The only reason why is because it has everything I want. It does less damage though. Shit. All right, very high times four, one point five, right? Oh no, it's the bad scope. Look at that. Oh no. Compared to this one. You know what? In all fairness, I still feel like this one's better. Fire rate didn't matter that much, did it? All right, nasty lacerator, nice. That one is not an upgrade. I can tell by the damage. Not an upgrade. I was collecting these for a while. The Molly One shotguns are all right, but they're not as good as normal shotguns. And we got, we, oh god, we got a bitch on deck. We got a bitch on deck. Glorious Havoc. <laughs> it's a man, it's a, it's a, it's a, oh wow, that reload though. <laughs> when you reload faster than the bullet. <laughs> How does that look? That one's pretty good, 300. Now the only reason why I'm not getting that is because the bitch is actually glitched and it doesn't do its extra critical hit damage. So it's really not worth it to have it. You know? There we go, doll. Got a nice explosive rain. Combustion hellfire, nice. 
I have a nice static gun over there. I'm not too excited for that one because it didn't look like a two shot. It looked like a 12 shot. Is it a two shot? No, it's six. It's not bad. Has that one though. I don't like that barrel. Alright, um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. That's a good helix. That's a really strong one. Times three. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else I really want to take a looky loo at. Dang. Man, they need to actually give me some garbo. Alright, I am thinking about. I'm still thinking about the wildcat, whether or not I should use it because just because it's rare. You know? What's crazy is it's not better than the one I have. It's not better than this one. <sighs> I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Doll SMGs really don't benefit too much from elemental anyway. And whatever I'll I have to think about is all I do let's say. I'll flip a coin near the end, but yeah, I didn't see anything good there. Once again, no, something not very good. We got a poo poo run. What's cool about Chromerics is the first few times you do them, you get so much good shit. You know, you beat them the first time, you're like, oh my gosh, look at all this loot. And then you, you beat them more, and it's like, oh, okay. Here we go. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna fight this Cromerix bitch ass one more time, then we'll be done, I think. We'll have the we'll have the knocks and then we'll be done. Just because. Just because, 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 because. Because all the wonderful things he'll give. No, he won't, he won't. <laughs> the odds of me getting a pearl this run are pretty low, depending on our luck. Our luck The luck stat be low, as is all the other stats. Especially intelligence. Alright, I might even get get knocked off here. Alright, yeah, you would definitely want to run. Yeah, down that was a craw maggot. Oh no, it wasn't. Perfect. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him do this. He's probably gonna roar as soon as I spawn out. There he goes. He just did from Merc's roar. At least three guys. There was a lot of them, to be honest. Oh my gosh, he's still shooting at me. The Bro, you still on fire, my dude. Why the hell are you not dead? Come on, please swap to the actual weapon. I'm sick and tired of getting hit by these boys. Alright, so Chromerix is going to do his, his, his run attack. He's going to do his jump. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to rip his arm, his, that arm off. That arm's much harder to hit a lot of times. I'm gonna wait three seconds and for it to be half full and boom. Can you please shoot that arm? Thank you. I ain't seen, I've seen a few legendaries. I didn't see a uh, pearl. All right, now, 
I did not see Pearl, so ye. Our favorite, our favorite time. Yeah. There we go. Remember, let's talk about the redemption. Yeah, three thousand versus. Yeah. Oh, I got a really bad. That's that's a really bad one. <laughs> I got a really bad Undertaker. Yeah, so those fire two shots. That's a cool reference, though. Alright, um, decent sniper, some tormentor comms I don't care about, decent double stinger, what's that, T-Door Hunter shotgun, with the stinger, another lightning SMG, Ooh, that one's pretty strong. I believe I have a stronger one, though. We'll take a look in a second. Alright, I'm getting really worried that we ain't getting shit. Crap equalizer. Uh, Plague Bear, Yabos. All right, um, yeah, I think we're officially uh, skunked on these ones. Not a really good run. Had some interesting things, and the the closest thing to being good was that that sniper rifle over there. That volcano. All right, four. This one is stronger, but not on shield capacity. Extreme shock resistance, two point four. Yeah, better recharge rate. But, as I said before, with the recharge rate doesn't really matter when you get a kill. <laughs> you get your shield back anyway, so higher capacity is usually better. Alright, um, yeah. Alright, so, I guess we could head to Nox, but before that, we gotta think about this bay right here. So, <clears throat> let's see. So if I really do need one, I could always use the Cobalt, the cobalt Tsunami. Yeah, we're getting kind of crappy. <laughs> crappy guns for uh, Prolescence, not going to lie. This one, um... Yeah, if I'm looking at the stats specifically, all I could say is I kind of want, um... 2 times 2, and what's this? Times 3, right? It's be it's better than every. Oh, damn it! It's so so. What's crazy about the Wildcat is this gun right here. It doesn't have much of a bloom from hip firing, but if you look, that's about the same. Ah, uh, all right. Honestly, honestly, let's be realistic. I'm probably not going to be using the Wildcat that often anyway. And we're going to wait for a times four because on... Yeah. Because we could, we could technically get something like this. This, I would actually want. Like if... Yeah, that's the damage is too low. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, it's it's this one's what we have is better. <sighs> it it's hard though because I don't want to get rid of it. I was collecting wildcats, but if we can find a better one uh, than this that we have right now, then I'll definitely replace it. Accuracy be damned. But because we we don't yeah, but what we could do is we could test it, and we're gonna actually test this without. We're going to test it without swapping to the good weapon. So, yeah. Alright, after we leave, I don't think we can come back. I think if we load back in, the Chromax crashes. So, yep. 
But we're gonna test on the guys down there and see if it's worth it. And if I really, if I, if it really gets to the point where I don't like it, yeah, we're gonna test with um the normal shot, and then we'll swap over to the uh, the con that gets it stronger. But yeah, the times three shots on that aren't bad, but like I don't know. I feel like this gun, it it, it looks like it outcompetes in every stat, except for one. And I remember that Wildcats being kind of lackluster anyway, most of them. Alright, come on guys, spawn in. And they're there. Not bad. I'm surprised they actually killed from the magazine. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, SMGs really don't benefit too much from uh, using this stuff. Special count, right? Wow, it actually killed him in less than a magazine. And I was, and I was missing shots, too. Yeah, okay. Alright, um... Yeah, because when I'm doing that... Yeah, I feel like this is... It's, it has to be better. I'm going to assume it is. And if it's not... I just wasted a gun, but the, you know that's how it is. That's how it do though. I mean, if it's in the cards, we'll find a better one, right? Better to have a gun that you can use that's better than one that you're trying to collect that's not. Let's go get some garbage. Look at all this stuff. Yeah. See, that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, why did it put me all the way back here? Who who made this game? That's a sign. That's a sign that, that I'm supposed to grab my thing. I'll say this, right? Wow, I didn't actually hit that. I thought I walked. Dude, didn't I? Okay. How close do you have to get? Oh, you have to get really close. Alright, well, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> Screw it, you know? The Wildcats, uh, they, the one thing that they do said they do have is they do get better tech pools than other uh, doll weapons. Tech pools means that they have a deeper chance to apply their, their, their tech or their elemental effect. But there's no guarantee. They're like, you can't actually see what a tech pool is on your gun usually. I don't think there's a way to see it. Maybe, maybe it's that times four that that's what they mean, but I don't think they do. What I think specifically is, it's, I think it's a hidden value, and it's like a, it's believe it or not, it's like the Iridian weapons where it slowly builds charge over time, and once it applies its quote unquote crit shot or its tech shot, then it drains it x amount of of, of things, and the higher the pool, the more chances of shots that you can have happening in a row, and for legendary effect weapons, they just negate it a lot of them, except for the Wildcat. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, it's not very strong. Okay, I'm just passing around. Yeah. It feels pretty weak. Okay, they all. Okay, fine. Yeah, the elemental effects of my my. Ah well. In all fairness, the same thing I could say about the um the wildcat. Okay. Well, you didn't want to fight and you kept running away, so it's there he's gone.
But yeah, very rarely do you get anything um, crazy good with dull elementals. I think they only have one weapon that gets a good elemental, and that's the Hornet. Doll, it's mostly about um, being able to hit your crits and um, and uh, stabilized fire. That was pretty strong. These guys are weak to electric. Supposedly. Now we can shock both of them and they'll both die to this. Right. I mean, I did it, sir. Thank you. Alright, nothing. Yeah, those guys can drop pearlescence. And I, I have only had one drop of pearlescent, and it was a jackal, and it was on the remaster. Because I think they upped the pearlescent drop rates on certain enemies. Or I just got lucky that day. Alright, ain't seen shit. Yeah, so here we go. Here's another one that's times four. Yeah. Shit. That's all right. Tell you what. Tell you what. If I find if I find another wildcat that's better than the one I than than this, like if it's times four, if it's times four multiplier and it has a better fire rate, I'll definitely or an on par fire rate. Because what's this fire? I, th I think it's max actually. It almost yeah, it's about max. If it's like ten or whatever, or the other wildcat I have, which is uh yeah sixteen. Yeah, if it's somewhat similar, then we'll grab it. If not, yeah, whatever. Because the wildcats themselves are... Eh. I mean, they're good if you just run at your... If you face the opponent, like, in their face. But other than that, ow, ow, ow. Jump out of the car before you die. And there it goes. Or no, we don't need a car. Dude, how many times did I crit him? It looked like I crit him like eight times. Shoot the ground, my dude. Alrighty. Cool. Um, I'm not gonna fight these guys unless they come at me. And of course, they're gonna come at me because that's what they do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. In all fairness, I would not mind finding an actual really good tsunami. I've been very unlucky with the tsunamis, and I think that's what my my perception of the weapons being bad has been. Oh, oh now roll the car. Nice. Roll oh, oh, the car, so you don't go very far. Is that it? Okay, I wish they would stop shooting that shit at me. You get to get shocked, and we'll actually shock you a little bit too. We'll stand on you. Did some of your life bar. Jump out of here. Of course, they're the type of enemy that can like change their direction midair. Surprised I actually missed that. Didn't normally miss. He must have hit the car or something. All right, another one coming in. Surprised. There it is. No, where's the square rock? Oh, the, both of the guys are going, really? Well, yeah, he tried. Now he gets to go. I'm going to try and get around behind him, actually. All right, there we go. Yeah, where's that square rock? I think it should be, like, here. But where is it? It should be here. Did I park on top of it? There it is. I see it. It's a triangle from this angle. Alright, we have a pretty interesting sniper. Not bad. Alright. Let's go try and get this pearl. This quote unquote, this, this rare hybrid that's, that I've never seen. I've never seen it, believe it or not. And this is one of the hybrids I've never seen. Never seen the Dove Hornet. I saw the Dove Hornet and when DL dropped it for me. That was great. I'm like, like yeah, I've been farming this for a year. I don't need shit. You coming in or no? You're not spawning in? Okay, there he is. Same as me. 
time, and then, oh my god, that does so much damage to him. Alright, he didn't drop it. It looks like it's a purple. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm not even gonna bother with this gun. Yeah, the gun itself is not very good in terms of uh, damage on its own. Plus, these guys are just resistant to everything. He, he, I think he has a Thanatos. Ah, uh, that's not bad damage, though. Not great, though. Does he have a Thanatos? No, oh, he doesn't. He has a baby Thanatos. Alright, I'm just gonna have to fight these guys now, because I started with the fight. But yeah, that's how, that's how you use the, that's how you use the Wildcat. But I feel like this gun, you could use it better than the Wildcat, because you get more range on it. Like, these guys would be much harder to hit with the Wildcat at this range. Right, throw this down, and hit, and throw one more. You knock out the one. Again, keep going. Can you, can you please stop shooting me so I can actually shoot Yeah, these guys tend to be very bullet spongy. They're not particularly fast though. Oh look, an awesome gun, an awesome class mod, not for my character. When I play brick and I farm these guys, I don't get shit. Taking that. Yeah, as you can see. And this is why they say uh, this gun is way better. Because it does way more burst damage. Uh, revolvers in this game, I think, are, 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 are broken. I really think they're kind of broken. And that's why people don't really um, talk about the Hornet that much. Because a better pistol, quote unquote, exists. Even though it uses different ammo. You know, in all fairness, they probably could have gotten away, and I shit you not, with making revolvers a sniper. And using sniper ammo. Another thing that they never really put into Borderlands was being able to, um, to change your weapon parts. I wouldn't mind being able to like like cut apart certain weapons or whatever. Not to make the most broken build, but yeah. Like everything's meta anyway. People that just use the parts, they use like certain cheap programs to get in the best shit anyway. So it's like why not just have it in for everyone? I, you know what I like not being able to do? Not being able to shoot, shoot down and aiming at, at, at the more down because he just, This guy wants to be a bumbo. Ah, screw it. Screw this guy. Pop the combat medic. Why is he not dead yet? Is that not a lot of shots into his head, or is that really just healing through all my damage? Yeah, yeah, burst damage my ass. Yay, OP weapon for the win. <laughs> but yeah, those three guys I think were all healing one another, and I couldn't out damage them. Alright, yeah. Hey, what's up? How about you crunch tires this, you... <laughs> Damn, what up saying my cereal scrapes the roof of his mouth? <laughs> That's bullshit spread by the tricks coming. <laughs> Wait, aren't you from the same company? That rabbit had it out for me from the day I started. Oh, she's being grilled. Hey, one up, what's up? What I'm doing? I'm getting my ass kicked by uh, this Helicron over here. I think she was the boss in Cuphead. You know, the one that changed from the, the blimp. That or she's pretending to be Mike. Yeah, that, that seems like a Mike thing to do. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> why'd you do that? <laughs> Mike, why'd you stand by the wall, pretend to be an NPC, and then explode?
Alright, hey one up, how you doing? Listen, alright, I'm not killing Mike NPCs. Mike's Mike NPCs are standing around and they're just randomly dying. Alright. Alright, you wanna chat? Fine. Uh Is it gonna be um is it gonna be in a call or is it gonna be in a private one? Because you'll have to let me know otherwise, because I'll have to look off stream for a second. Look at this guy. Private? Okay, then I'll have to. Alright, you can start the call in, and I'll check after this guy dies. E I E I O, motherfucker. Alright. We in, we in. I don't know about you, but Mike standing still and then exploding is a very Mike thing to do. How could you do that to him? The poor man didn't. I didn't do he anything. He he pointed at me with his sword, and then he exploded, and then and then he made his son go to his room, clean it, clean it up. Mike, stop trying to shoot Shay with your sword. Yeah, he's always trying to do it. Mike bought the lightsaber and took the light out for the sword. Now <laughs> just a saber. Safer light. Mm. No man. Man, you gotta get that steel. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I don't know about you, but I've been having trouble streaming. I don't know if it's um internet based or uh, computer based. Mm -hmm. It's hard. To, it's really hard to pin down. There's so many things. So I'm gonna have to be trying to go one by one. I'm taking a hiatus from Deep Rock Rage Galactic because uh, of a glitch where you get kicked out at the end of a map and you don't end up getting loot. Oh boy, that's rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that or until they uh, introduce a dedicated servers, maybe. They might do that later on. I don't. I doubt it though. They never, they never did Call of Duty. Did they ever do Call of Duty servers dedicated or no? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I was assuming the whole. I was assuming it was a host only thing. Yeah. So the host could cheat, huh? And you're like. <laughs> and then when it's your time to shine, Spike puts his hands together and rubs yeah. them like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat harder than anyone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that cable so hard. That was a big thing though that was been happening. Yeah. Why are, why are these guys living forever? Why are these mics living forever? I don't know about you, but Mike standing standing in front of Adam, in front of Pallet Town, is just a great great image. That we're gonna have to draw or commission <laughs> something to draw. Mike, come on! Like Mike, Mike sitting in Pallet Town, and Pikachu Adam sitting on his shoulder, telling him to come on, we gotta go. Uh. Oh, that guy had a good gun. When idea? when are we gonna get somebody to draw a rock? When are we gonna get someone to draw a rock flapping his arms, and Mike just watch, <laughs> watching yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, well, Mike. Rock's playing Splatoon and Mike comes in. What you playing, son? Flappers? <laughs> Flappy squid? Flappers <laughs> <laughs> sounds disgusting. Uh, sounds like a Nintendo game. Yeah, in all fairness, um. Squid kids were a pretty interesting um, thing, you know, like a movement shooter. I when guess. You become squid, you know. The problem is, is that it was Nintendo, <laughs> and their online is kind of boo. You know what I'm saying? Kind of boom boom. That and they don't know how to what uh, what else to do aside from release the same game over and over again. Yeah, they do like to release Mario a lot, don't they? Uh, no, right, man. Freaking yeah. all, they always make Mario jump, huh? 
I can't believe it too. The one and the one time that they they made Green Mario not jump, people complained that it wasn't Mario enough. They decided to give him a a, goo, a gooey Green Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with they, yeah they made the second the second greener Mario <laughs> that, that could do even less work. I'll say this, man. Let's see what we got. He really just dropped that for me, huh? Cool. You gotta feel sorry for, uh... Why are we crapping on rocks so much? What did a rock do? How did Mike... How did Mike be able to convince us? Mike, <laughs> how, Mike, how has a, Mike has some type of charm, apparently. Oh, yeah? Like a snake charmer? You got that snake Slytherin mouth? Charm. You got that Slytherin mouth? Probably does. Yeah. He's speaking parcel tongue. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> he was going, ah, Konnichiwa. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're not a snake. Stop speaking snake. <laughs> Mike, I'm not a snake. Quit speaking snake to me. <laughs> Uh, you, you talk like a snake, Adam. You always do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you grew them scales. You know what you were doing when you grew them scales. Now, question one, a big, big question. Should I? Or shouldn't I? Anyway, I've been thinking about, um, uh, I'm thinking about going back to Digimon for a while. It's been a while. Uh. Yeah. It's a game that I don't know why, but people don't like it. Apparently, we play. I don't know why, because everyone we play loves Pokemon. It's damn near the same. Wait, how do you, wait, why are you assuming everyone doesn't like everyone we play doesn't like Digimon? Because I asked enough of them. How many have you asked? Uh, the ones that play Pokemon a lot. Like. Like, 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 Richter and Adam. What did Adam say about Digimon? I don't fucking understand it. <laughs> Which is funny enough, the same thing when Richter said. Basically, I want to uh, explain this to Richter. Imagine that they're Pokemon, but they're digital. And I was really hoping Richter would say, you mean Porygon? And I was going to say, shut up. <laughs> but he never did. <laughs> he never did. He never did. He knew the bait. He knew the fucking bait. Oh, 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 like Digimon. <laughs> it's like Digimon. You know, it's like Pokemon, but digital. Fucking hate it. I mean, in all fairness, it's 90% there. The only thing is, is that uh, is that there's a lot, of, a lot more death in Digimon than in Pokemon. Oh, why is that so good, and why is it not for me? I don't fucking understand it. Oh, hey, Linkar, what's up? That's <laughs> not Linkar. I don't understand. I don't understand this Digimon bullshit. Yeah. All I know is Power Rangers Part Seven. Yeah, funny enough, Digimon is very similar to Power Rangers. It's a bunch of bunch of kids <laughs> getting powerful powers and becoming a team to save <laughs> and becoming a team. Yeah. 
In all fairness, when you think about it, Mario's a lot like Power Rangers. You got the red guy, you got the blue guy, you got the other green guy, you got the yellow girl, you got the, the yellow guy. Um, you have the pink guy. <laughs> And I am really thinking about who who the uh, who the, who the Black Ranger could be, but I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Then you have Waluigi, who looks like a Power Rangers villain. He looks Waluigi. like a man. <laughs> yeah. He is. He is such a Power Ranger. Yeah. He's the Power Ranger that dies mid-season and gets replaced by. Another better looking Power Ranger. <laughs> uh, what is that? A matador. Ooh, that's a strong one. But it's not for me. You wanna know why? Because I had my trade table up. I think I made it, uh, another decision. I think I'm gonna go back to Chromerix and try and do one more farm, and then grab my uh, grab my goo back that I didn't have. Yeah. Is Mike still doing um, Hogwarts? He probably still. He's probably. He's probably like. He's probably went to Hogwarts by now. I don't. I, I haven't seen him the online. Real in a long the real time. Hogwarts. Yeah. Or the Chicago Hogwarts that's that we don't talk about. Ah, uh, maybe it's both. Yeah. Maybe he got transferred from real Hogwarts to, <laughs> to the Chicago one. That's where all the bad. That's where all the bad Saluterans go. Let's see what we've got. Hey, one up. Why'd they make one house like super evil? Why'd they do that? Is it really to stick all the problem childs in one one group? <laughs> all the problem children. Yeah, all the Dracos, <laughs> all the all the crab and goyles, all the Lenny and Carls of the world. Oh God, not the Lenny and Carls. Yeah. Or Professor no. Barney teaches them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Professor Barney teaches them how to how to be better. For some reason, it doesn't really work though with Professor Barney. <laughs> I saw one day we're all gonna fall. This castle's gonna fall. It's gonna crush and kill all of us. <laughs> Professor, Mr. Gumble, you're scaring us. No, I'm not. Professor Gumble, you're you're upsetting Dumbledore. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> Professor Dumbledore, you're. <laughs> <laughs> You're upsetting Harry Potter. No, I'm not! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm sorry, but you have to kill Voldemort or die killing Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you think? You, you expect me to do it? <laughs> I was going to make a thing like, uh, oh, man. Whoa. Are you sure Adam doesn't understand Digimon or... Are you sure? No, I know. I'm pretty sure Adam understands that. I don't think he particularly. I think he prefers his Pokemans, though. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Probably does. Uh, Richter oh. uh, specifically said he didn't understand, which I thought was weird because, in all fairness, to understand Digimon is to understand that that you you can make digital assets. <laughs> you know. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I am in all fairness. I don't even know how. Um, my, I, I guess what maybe what he meant was he didn't get the appeal, which is what I would have said. But w when you think about it, it's so close to Pokemon anyway. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like right there. I wonder, I wonder who understands Bakugan. I know very little other than that the toys were good at hurting people. No, awesome. He's <laughs> gonna choking the toys of the other kid. No! <laughs> and that one kid choked on it and ruined it for the entire school. 
Fucking Homer just Fucking chucks Professor, it at the facing. Prof Professor Barney ruins it for the whole school because he choked on it. <laughs> oh, yummy! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Professor Barney, stop beating him! Oh, I'm not I thought it was a peanut! <laughs> I wanna... That's who we call <laughs> Professor Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's who we call Professor Peanut. But yeah, um, yeah. The only th the only thing I can think of is why people don't like Digimon that much is because it's all it's it's weird. It's weird. It's much weirder than Pokemon, because the Digimon are like, like absurdly like way smarter than than Pokemon than Professor Pikachu. <laughs> Um, which that makes it kind of weird. Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess a lot of people that like Pokemon just like telling animals to, what to do and no questions asked, huh? Yeah. Except for Mike. Mike liked just standing by the fucking door. <laughs> Mike standing outside Professor Oak's lab warning people not to go in. <laughs> and Professor Oak is <laughs> wondering why no, no kids have come in. To take some Pokemon off his hands. He's just out there with a picket sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking canceling Oak. CO. <laughs> Pokemon is unfair. Miss Professor Oak is yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Professor Oak is stealing lies. Professor Oak is telling lies. <laughs> uh, Professor Oak is making us cry. Yeah. Mike, you're upsetting yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened to Mike. Why he hates Professor Oak? I have I no idea. Why, he, why he hates I, a lot of what? I thought you were. I, th I thought you were gonna say why he hates Adam. Uh, why he hates Professor Adam? I, I don't know. Professor. Bar Listen, um. I don't think he, yeah. No, nah, man. No, nah, they're they're two good friends. That's the problem. They're they're too close. They're like yeah. They're like Lenny and Carl. They're they're very <laughs> close. And that's that's the problem. They're 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 two. They're two. They're two peas. Not one piece. Two peas. Yeah. Yeah, so when they do fight over something, it's always going to be an explosive combatant. In all fairness, though, it's... It has... It, 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 like, like, how much you think of it's real, how much you think of it's, 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 it's a gig. Or a bit. Yeah. I'd say it's about 50-50. Oh, an assault carnage. I'd say it's pretty. I, I'd say like, I, don't, I don't think they get mad. Now him, now Adam talking about uh, what's his name, uh, Professor Oak. I don't know what the hell Oak did. I don't know if Mike's very just empathetic to Ash, <laughs> Ash's plight of Oak sending him away. So, hey Professor Oak, why are you always next? To my, <laughs> why are you always in my house? You always expect like Mike to be one of those people who says, "Don't worry, don't worry, we'll get across this hazardous lava pit." Just pushes them off and uses them as a bridge. Yeah. Don't don't worry. No, no, he goes to Rock, who's sitting in his home. <laughs> he throws Rock into the fucking mice. Yeah, I know. Oh, reminds me of an episode of Futurama where Bender goes to pick up his kid just to talk, just to trade him with the devil. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike, no, no trades, please. Mike's finally back to be a good father. Yeah. Fucking tough. Yeah, the good fucking father. Kicks, kicks Rock's ass into a pile of full of Rock, lava. No. Rock, don't trust him. Don't trust him. Don't. Why are they so, why? Listen, alright, I wouldn't have believed that until you showed that video of TTT of Mike, like, having perfect shots on three victims and walking past them for Rock. 
Oh boy. Rock Rock literally was just standing there with four people with him, and then Mike's like, "Now it's my time to start to shine." And he got away with it too, but he stood there over Rock. Why did he do that? Man, there it is. Now, did this create a second version of the stream? I have no idea. <gasps> okay, we got garbage. My favorite. Must be my favorite because I roll roll it a lot. Not roll in, but roll it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nothing. We ain't got shit. Mike, what'd you do? I'm on SMG, cool. But yeah, um... Yeah, we haven't done anything with Rock in a while. Has he been doing a lot of, um... What has he been doing a lot of? I haven't I haven't really kept up with his stream. Or not his stream, his Steam. Has, uh, has, we uh, oh. You have Rock Rage. I don't know, Rock's been... Either playing SM. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4. Oh, he does. He has probably... a remake. No, he has. No, he's playing the old one. Uh, what? Yeah, he's playing the what? old one. He's probably he's probably playing it on the VR mode. Why did you do that, Rock? Don't do that. It's illegal. Well, he's gonna do it. You don't care. Rock no does. Anyway, yeah, you play. Yeah, ever since Scott's VR update, he's been probably playing it in VR. VR. Oh, that that. Mm, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Nah. No. What's wrong? Nah. What's wrong nah, with VR? Yeah. That oh, I see like how, it. how it is. Okay. <laughs> hey, you better get your ass back to the '90s and start playing these puzzle collectathons. <laughs> yeah. Goofy called him. Yeah, ban yeah, Banjo just ain't called. Uh, say yeah, yeah, 100 agrees. Yeah. Mike, get back. Like, <laughs> Mike, get your Mike son on VR back. chat. He's playing Resident Evil 4 in VR chat. Stop him. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Oh man, just Mike booting up res <laughs> booting up VR chat. <laughs> booting just up pull rock up. <laughs> Yeah. Putting up VR shit just to pull Rock out of the game. It's like your fucking mob walk jumping onto their kid's server. Just tell them dinner's ready. Yeah, yeah, the they go they go into their Minecraft server and kill them. <laughs> their Minecraft and, server! And their hardcore Minecraft, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> Next time, don't be late. Mom, my ultimate creeper farm. I had to collect all the 12 jungle cats to do it. What the hell is even Minecraft anymore? You know, it's getting to the point where like Minecraft has like so many mechanics now, it's barely the same game. They still have the Ender Dragon in it, right? <laughs> so the Ender Dragon? Yeah. No, that was the season one boss. Yeah. <sighs> Minecraft has had some shitty updates lately. Yeah, in fact, I can't run on this computer anymore because they like doubled or tripled the height or whatever to add in the new, new, the new deep slate and shit. And it's like, yeah. like the, the caves underneath the map are like kind of like fucking with the the overworld too. So it's like I can't even hide in the overworld. Mm -hmm. Quick to the Nether! It's the safest. What are you talking about? It's the safest. Uh, one up question. Are creepers in the nether? I, Cause I don't think they are. No, they're not. Spike, hardcore, hardcore nether run. Yeah. In all fairness, um, creepers I could see like ending a lot of hardcore worlds. What do you think ends the most hardcore worlds? Well, you're not wrong. Creepers would do that. I would think, uh, 
probably Enderman. Yeah. Maybe a, a trip to the Nether, either by a Wither Skeleton or a, a Blaze. Yeah. I mean, what about a Magma Cube? They're pretty strong. And if they hit you... They like, are, but like... Well, I mean, but if, like, say are, like but... you spawn into the Nether and there's a Magma Cube. And you know. Yeah, but they're yeah, but they're they're easy to avoid. Yeah, but you don't always get to avoid them though. You know what I mean? Like, cause you, you could they could they could they could hit you when you're in the portal before you fully spawn in, right? It takes them a while to get there though. Even if they're next to it. Well, no mobs usually spawn right next to the portal. Uh, cause like no, once the Nether's maybe. created. Once the nether is created, then all the mobs will spawn in afterwards. Wait a second. But then how'd they get through the portal? Or do you mean... Do they... one... Wait. How they does the create... nether you work? Walk in... you... you walk into the portal, it starts to create the nether, because it's your first time going there in the world. Okay. Now is that... Like... Yeah, okay. It's like popping into... It's like popping into the world your first time. You just start off on... Grassy, hilly, sandy... Foresty biome, and then as you move around, mobs will start spawning uh, during yeah. the day, and then and then they'll start spawning in during the night. Yeah. So like, I doubt any there'd be anything hazardous at first when you go into the Nether, but if you like go back, if then what? obviously there'd be mobs around it where you what left it. it. If you, if you look away even for a second, the Nether gets you. Mm. The Wither Nether. So, question, when are they going to add in another boss? That'd be fun, actually, yeah. The closest to another boss we have is that freaking Bastion with all those tough pigmen. Yeah, the Brutes, or whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah, uh... I remember, I remember, um, specifically, depending on where I was in the Nether, the most annoying thing was the pigs. Not the pigmen, the, the, the boars. I feel like they would end a lot of runs too, because you, you don't pay attention for a second, and then they they well, knock they, you off uh, the ledge. Well, well, it's, yeah, that happened to me like a few times, or like once or twice. But like they always spawn like forest, red forest biome. So you just gotta keep your way from them. <laughs> but I want the pig juice. I want the I want the I want the pork. The delicious pork one up. Come on. I mean, it'd be. I mean, it'd be easier for like the pigmen to kill them. Yeah, but we can't steal from pigmen. Who do you think we are? We can't steal from them, but you can't yeah, trade with them. We can't steal from from pigmen. They have a Pikmin. rough. <laughs> yeah, they have a rough life. Yeah, in all fairness, I think the, the, the probably the toughest mob would be accidentally hitting a villager. <laughs> Just what, what, like an iron golem coming after you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, you're like, like spikes from over the head, the back of the, uh, the villager's head. I like the cut of your jib, G. And then, and then you hear. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, those golems are kind of cool. You can spawn them in and they don't get angry at you, but I'm always worried that the game will glitch and get them angry at you when you do spawn them okay, in. Okay, well, if you make them yourself, they won't get angry. Yeah, no, but I mean if you do make them. Like, I'm afraid that, that the game will be like, fuck it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm not... I, I don't think it will. I'll do Minecraft. I don't think it would. I don't think it will either. But I've had some weird glitches on Minecraft where uh, mobs have went through doors that were closed and have been closed. Now, uh, now, uh, uh, especially when you I see want, like I the do creepers. Want, I, I want. Too. I I want another boss. Like the like we need something that's just as good as say the Ender Dragon, the Wither. Wither ooh, ooh, and, and, a wither strong that could be interesting and uh, also those uh what's it called yeah not just the warden uh, 
And uh, the uh, the guardians underwater. Because they're Lava kind of they're, they're kind of an under. Yeah, the aqua guardians. Because they're kind of a they're kind of an underwater boss. Oh uh, yeah, the big ones. Especially with all that gold, gold they're guarding. You mean the sponges? No, well sponges, but they're also like they have also like a treasure thing. Oh, the in, treasure box, yeah. Yeah. Dude, so I don't even. Fun. I don't even care about too much about the treasure itself. I know, but, but you know what I know, do care because about? Because it's a lot of gold. You know, I guess the thing about the gold though, you can use it to trade with the pigment to get ender pearls. But you can, you can get use. ender pearls from any enderman. You just gotta trade with him with your knife. <laughs> you gotta enderman his life. Here, here I come, I am Enderman. <laughs> here I come, I am Enderman. <laughs> All the Endermen start pointing at that that fuck running around with the sword. Just rushing at you on a skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't know what else Rocks was playing. Like, it's either like he jumps on Gmod, just a screen share with T and Samama, just plays on a random map. He'll. He'll play Dead by Daylight, even though he'll say, "I'm I'm done with Dead by Daylight. It's such a bad game." You Zero know what? If it, if if it, if it originally was good, but then they updated it, yeah. it was good. Then they then the more they try to evolve it, the more it got worse. Yeah, because they, they it, that's what's known as power creep. What would happen is they would uh, buff survivors, and then they would have to buff killers, oh. and then they would have to buff survivors oh. and yabos. Oh man! Oh, Dragon Ball. They just yeah. copied you. <laughs> Well, I mean, reverse it, but yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they got no. Freeze's got to be no. No, Goku is already strong. That means Freeze's got to yeah. be stronger, which means Goku's got to be stronger. Yeah, which means that that that, that Krillin could go dump. <laughs> I mean, Krillin has to die a few more times for Krillin, Goku to get stronger. All right, come on, Krillin, let me bench press you a few more times. Goku, you always kill me when you do that. Yeah, I know. It's all right. You'll get over it, <laughs> like you always do. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Get over it. <laughs> you, you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of harder to kill than a cockroach. And then Goku's like, Krillin. To me, you are a cockroach. What? <laughs> Why the? F uh... Why is Goku so evil when we talk about him? You want to know why? You want to know the real fucking reason why? Because Goku is an evil is evil in the anime, okay? He's an evil, evil little brat in the anime. <laughs> you were good, but you were gone. <laughs> yeah. Goku, though, I really liked. Um, I think I think his best moments were definitely Frieza Saga through Cell Saga. He felt really mature there. And he still felt like Goku. You know what I mean? He felt like Goku, but he didn't feel like... He didn't feel like... Like how they made him in Super. Which I don't even know how to describe how they did that in Super. Um, I don't know what what, what they what they put in his, his cereal, but it made him... Okay, now I just realized. What was in, what was in that... What was in that heart medicine that Trunks gave him? Do you, think it, do, do you think it had like some type of lead, lead base to it or something? I, I don't know. Uh, all I know is Trunk said it was grape flavor. Yeah, it's grape flavor. <laughs> Wait, did Goku just get on the motorcycle and get some more grape flavor? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Goku, you should learn how the. <laughs> Chi Chi's like, Goku, you should learn how to drive. And, and Goku's like, Chi Chi, you should learn how to fly. And he throws her. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! They need the ambulance for Chi Chi. She got. <laughs> Goku smacked her on the back too hard again. Uh, Goku taught her how to fly. <laughs> fly to a rock. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! They have no. to go even oh, faster now. Stop it! Stop it! She's already dead. <laughs> That's what the Dragon Balls are for. Come on. Oh hey, we never wished her back. Yeah. Every year they they play a lottery. 
Reminds me of that fucking that, that fucking ongoing joke when a drag in like DBZA or freaking all Goku's mindset is on who how who they've brought back or not yet with the Dragon Balls and when the freaking Yajirobe blows up after Doctor Zero like <laughs> hits him shoots him out of the air Goku's like oh hey we never brought him back to life yeah <laughs> like, Jesus Goku <laughs> that would have been pretty scary for Yajirobe he lived a pretty big life of sin. That's how they'll remember him. Oh, hey, we never brought him back to life. <laughs> yeah, and we never will. What are you talking about? They need their bean daddy. Yeah, wait, yeah. Do they though? Oh, oh god, I think a guy just flew over my head off a cliff. It was awesome. Man, Yajirobe himself off a cliff for some beans. Oh, yeah, Jerome beat himself off a cliff, jeez. Yeah, you know, live a live a life of sin. <laughs> live in life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jerome, he does kind of look like a Sonic character. I do actually think Yajirobe is kind of cool in terms of like like you don't often see like fat Dragon Ball characters that are not. Well, I mean, you see him often, but not like him, you know? Because you see, like, the fat guys that fight. <laughs> not, not one second walk. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You know, you see a lot of fat Dragon Ball characters, but they're all, like, like, like Majin Buu, or, or, you know, they're not... Or the yellow, or the yellow Winnie the Pooh bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all, like, fighters or some shit, you know? Where Yajirobe's not really a fighter. I guess you could call Gru. Or not Gru. Guru? Gru! 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 I'm Gru! Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know, Gru from, from, from Despicable Namekian? Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, Despicable I was like, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm Gru. <laughs> Jesus Christmas. What? What's wrong with the spitball in the neck in? I'm Groove. <laughs> Touch you, I will. <laughs> wait, wait, I just I fucking just mixed them up with goddamn Yoda. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so uh, speaking of speaking of Guru, and I w and this was a segue that I was planning it a few days ago. Why isn't he in that game yet as a power up for the survivors to increase their level by one? In the breakers, Instantly. yeah. Think about it. Uh, he sits on the map. Okay. You go. You get to him. Um, random spawn and instantly pops a level for one survivor. I guess it would have been a little too obvious to where he would have been for the yeah, for like the raider. Yes, to kill but, him. but 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 that's no. You don't need to kill him. He's you know you, you can't. <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> you can't. You can't kill me for survivor power. No, no, like. Like, maybe you could, like, maybe he's, like, sometimes underground, or, you know, maybe somewhere, you know? How would he get underground? Yeah. Wait, no, no, not underneath the ground, but, like, in a cave or some shit. <laughs> Guru underground. Yeah. Hopes to be never found. Again. <laughs> Hopes to be never found, Jesus Christ. What? He doesn't want to be found, <laughs> man. He's like, I love living alone. I love living alone. Except for a nail. <laughs> oh, I, want Lord uh, I want a Lord Slug. Uh, I want Lord Slug as a... As a... a survivor? As a killer. <laughs> as a killer. I want, uh. I, want, I want them to release the Namekian update where you get a Namekian shitty playable character. You get Gru for power-ups. Not Gru. Guru for power-ups. And then you get you get Lord Slug for for sliming up the the, the 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 garbage, or you could get that other guy, whatever his name is, Garlic Junior, same guy really. Uh. They're both they both grow stupid. They're both stupid. They both. Wait, did Lord Slug trap himself in the universe as well? Did he? <laughs> did he also do that? I don't know. Maybe he did. But yeah, um, in all fairness, I do concept. I just fucking heck. It's just another game that. No, uh, yeah. Well, people uh, cheese at every poor. game, though. I mean, it just has poor execution. Hell yeah. That, a lot of games, though, though, have that now. 
I mean, Dead by Daily had a great execution and concept when it first came out. Yeah. I was like that with multiverses had... for a while, and then and then. And then after... Yeah. And then people then they relied on so. They like then they relied on all this freaking these extra power up stuff or whatever, and it was like freaking. I don't remember how. I don't remember any of the fucking names. All I remember is you just run away from the killer, activate generators, and escape. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, now they and have different like, states, oh. you know. I know, which is stupid. You keep the dying you anymore. state. You turn, you turn, you're giving them Call of Duty perks right now. They do have that. They have the dead man's hand. I think Leon's the one that brought it in. Leon Candy, oh no. Yeah, no, yeah. It's better than Leon from Star Fox coming into Dead by Daylight. again disconnected again i wouldn't mind um certain breakers um bringing in uh other other uh, anime what, what bring in other anime um you know like uh like breakers uh bring in other anime villains because it's technically wormholes and time timey wimey shit yeah freaking, i want to yeah freaking broly's gonna be a movie villain gonna be a Probably gonna be one actually. It's probably gonna be Z Broly. Yeah. No, I'm talking, actually, about, no, I'm talking actually, about like no, other no, anime. No, no, period. No, like no, like no, get, no, get Seto no, Kaiba as a killer. How about that? It's, no, it's not gonna be Z Broly actually. Now I think about it, because then freaking like who's gonna play Z movie Broly? Because Vic Min Young was known for that. Well, uh, well, I mean, it depends, you know, because they might not cancel it for the English voice actor because. They no, here's the thing though. Here's one big reason. Uh, I didn't get garbage. Here's the thing, though. I have noticed also in fighters, Z Broly doesn't have any new lines at all. Oh yeah. Any new, any new dialogue when he when he when he comes into the fight. Yeah. Was it all Vic? It was all Vic. Really? Yeah, and there's yeah, and yeah, and they haven't added any new codes ever since they ever since Funimation kicked them out. A yeah. And they haven't added a new dialogue for Bro Z Broly. Yeah, I I don't know about you, but I don't I don't really understand the whole Vic thing. Like they said he did stuff, but then there's evidence against it, and then there's even more evidence that he didn't do it. And it's like, okay, well, then why'd you kick him out? And it's like, it felt more like they just wanted to just get rid of him for whatever reasons. Did would that, did any of that ever come to light of, like, what actually happened? Because they said he did something with a fan as well, and the fan later said, no, it was fine, I, I asked him to. I think it was specifically he, she was like 15, she asked for a kiss on the cheek, and he did it and during a photo. Or something I don't remember, and then she and then she later said. I, I, I think it was one of I thought it was one of his coworkers. It was there's also there's also one of it with um Bulma's voice actor I think. Uh, yeah. But I, I think it was something else as well that they also tried to say, and it's like it, well why'd they bring that up? I remember like I don't like I don't don't remember hearing it like that's not the that's not the clip I remember like about him kissing somebody I remember yeah. the one Jelly where. Ring, yeah, I know. Lit Shut the fuck up. No, it's like, no, it's uh, him talking to these people outside of a, just outside in the sun, in the sun and they're like, talk, something about God and stuff he's trying to talk to them about. And oh, yeah, you know what? Like, you know what? That's probably the real reason why. And they tried to do the other shit later on. It's called slander and, and you know, whatever. It's not slander. <laughs> Sl it's slander not, spoken. It's not, it's, not, it's not slander. It's just my wife. Yeah, it's not that slanders. That's not Ned Flanders! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, in all fairness, a lot of, like, 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 voice actor in Hollywood stuff is kind of, like, weird now. Like, for some reason, why didn't they ever let Brandon Fraser do any more films, you know? Like, yeah. what had happened? Did he quit? Because from what it felt like, it, he didn't. And then, and then yeah. he came back in the, in the whale, right? And apparently he won an Oscar for it. Did he? 
I think he did. I have no idea. I don't I know. They've, no been, they've been they've been saying it like he should at least. I don't know. I don't follow. I don't follow Academy Awards. I I don't anymore. Not after. Uh, again, maybe we should. Who got slapped this year? <laughs> Who had the quit this year? Keep my name out your fucking mouth. Hey, Homer. Keep your name. <laughs> Homer, keep your name Hi, out my fucking booze. Yeah. Hadley ho, Homer. <laughs> Keep my name out your fucking mouth, Flanders. <laughs> Oakley Doakley. <laughs> Keep your eye on diddly hoes to yourself, Flanders. Oakley uh, Doakley. Diddly diddly. Diddly doodly daddly doodly. Alrighty. But yeah, we got, um, we got kinda. Yeah. In all fairness, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball could still be Rakers, could still be salvaged by Season 3. You can have a bad season on a live service. The problem that I'm seeing right now is that there's too many games with live services that don't offer enough. And Breakers might be one of them. Um, and that's why we, uh, and it might just die early. Uh, where if not enough people are playing and buying stuff, you know, they're not going to do, they're not going to bother with that model. Um, I'm surprised Fortnite lasted as long as it did. You know? Up the pinged. Yeah. DG. More Mugen. Wait, wait, Doom Guy has what? What do you do? He's, he, he's, he, he's, he's, he's at the stream on Twitch. Oh, he's gonna stream? Yeah. I had to talk <laughs> with Star about how his Mugen. How he does his mutant. I don't, I don't like the whole, you know, just type in a console command or whatever just to set up a mutant fight. It's less interactive. Wait, well, what did he do about the inter interactive fights or whatever? Uh, he... That, DG, I don't know if he still uses it or not, but he came up with this console... Command? This, like, console command thing, whatever. You just type it into one of his text channels. It would be very specific on how you type it, and then... Mute and then the console, whatever, just sets up the Mugen match. Oh, it does it automatically, huh? Yeah, but the problem is that it, one, it's less interactive, and two, like if there's a problem, the it's not, not gonna like correct itself. There's like a bug, say like a freaking like King Kong gets stuck in the ground or something, and nobody's there to control control <laughs> I. Yeah. He goes, like, give it to the audience. I'm like, never give nothing to the audience. What the hell? <laughs> why is this gun so good and why do I own it? Ah! But yeah, um... Been a while. I do miss TK's old Mugen fights, even the ones that he would rig. Like, I'm pretty sure he didn't quote unquote rig it, but like, if he probably did multiple recordings, you know? And those oh, no, were I always tell. cool. I, 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 you could tell there were like multiple recordings, because like, I can tell like every time it will go from like the start to the finish. Like, yeah, it starts starts showing off the characters, then it fades to black, match pops up, TK's mic quality is somehow, somehow different. <laughs> I remember, I remember one time oh, a match up, and I was saying, "Hey guys, uh, TK305 here. I gotta stay quiet. Can't wake the folks up. Today we got this and, and that versus this and that." Up. Yeah, and then I was like, "Oh, one, wait, one, bro. one of one. Of, wait, 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 wait. One of it's okay. All right, you can do what's known as post commentary. I know, but still, that's what I'm talking about. Like, oh, you're thinking he posted more than commentary, huh? No, no, no. You can tell. Like, he probably went through different variations to get a fight or just probably like to commentate the fight also yeah yeah well i mean yeah you definitely have to do that you have to definitely if he he's trying to do it like a, an actual like t like quote unquote television show he's a big wrestling fan 
Yeah, it was Bud. I don't think he spent, though, the appeal, he, has, yeah, he does, but like a good appeal that Eugen has is somehow not people playing it, but more like just watching fights and people just seem like, oh, that's the first time, like you booted it up. That's that's how the match meant. Mm-hmm. Alright, see you guys for the next number whatever, guys. Ta-ta. People assume like that's just how the characters are. That's how they fight. That's how their AI works. That's yeah. who. That's what characters better than the other. And then. Yeah. And then people will be asking like, "Where'd you get that character? I want that character." And meanwhile, TK is like, "No, no, no, touchy, touchy. It's my character. I made him. <laughs> I made him. Yeah. I paid. I paid DL nothing. The AI patched this character." Yeah. No, man, it's how it is, though. Um, how many did DL do? Because that's a lot. That's ten. That's yeah. a lot of work. Let me. Let me. Well, I know DL's. DL's. Uh, his Mugen site is down. I guess he stopped. I guess he yeah. shut it down. No. Well, yeah. I mean, um, he. I think he was having trouble with certain people not wanting their characters touched at all. Well, that. But the it's thing Mugen. is, that, it's Mugen, yeah, I know. though. You're. It, no, it's not hit. No, he just let that get to his head. More or less, like, people also defended him because he did that. Yeah, I mean, it's like, in all fairness, if it's... Uh, first unless, of, it, unless it's original, uh, an original IP or whatever. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, no, no, the character he touched wasn't an original IP. It was literally, he just touched, he, he grabbed a Pokemon, he AI patched it. People loved it. Creator was like, no, you, wa- you weren't supposed to touch my character. And then everyone was like... Gitchy gitchy goo means that I love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then, and then, yeah, but that's the thing though. It's like, like, even if that, even if everyone likes what you did, having the creator like poo poo you for doing it is not fun. No, no, no. Okay, here's the thing. And the second, no, here's the second part about it. It was the collab character. So there were two creators oh. who, it, there, <laughs> there were two, there were two creators who had a say in this. One didn't like it. The other one actually did approve of it. <laughs> oh, well, that, there you go. Should have hired. We should have hired. You just hired DL to do all the Mugen fights now. Yeah, but I do miss the TK fights. They were they were somewhat interesting. I just you know, miss the days where you guys would just like just you know commentate. Just commentate, <laughs> commentate over like a, a request stream and then be like, be like, just just making a story out of it sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, you mean like Doom Guy and the other ones, the old ones? Yeah, those were the those, those were the good old days. Yeah, well, what can you do about that? I still make stories up. DG, DG, I'm not reading this right, am I? Add seven out of eight? Jesus Christ! What? He's got seven. I'm at add seven out of eight on his Mugen stream right now. Oh really? Yes. Add seven out of eight. My fucking god, my dude. I, I'm not. I, I'm not going to his new streams if I have to deal with this fucking bullshit. <laughs> that's it. That's that's annoying. <laughs> so I don't like freaking Twitch sometimes. All these ads are super long. You can't skip them. Yeah. In all fairness, the ad should be in the bottom corner if it's a live stream. Yeah, top or top right above the yeah, chat or yeah, something. Else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, covering no, no, no. covering up should, the covering up the webcam face. Or all, or they all should just be like one of those advertisements where like the stream just zooms out, but like a pop up ad like pops up at the bottom and it's gonna go away after. You can still <laughs> see the stream or and hear it. Yeah, but and the ad will just sit there for a while. Yeah. All these video ads are such an annoyance. Mike, quit posting video ads and stream. Heroes, listen. Konnichiwa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, DL did like a lot of characters, most of which are still up on some Mugen archive sites, which. Yeah, probably I know. For... And that's the thing, probably... like, 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 it, like, DL could have potentially gotten paid for that on certain. Like, imagine, like, someone's really good at art, but crappy at, like, coding or whatever. Right? No, 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 here's the thing, though. He could have. I think mm-hmm. no actually no he did actually he was getting he was getting money from youtube he uploaded the video about showcasing it he got a lot of views he would get money mm-hmm. for it on youtube 
there you go. But then, you know, he just stopped. He stopped. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, in all fairness, it could have been just not very fun. You know, certain times, like, like I know I stopped doing a lot of editing because I w w don't have a lot of time anymore. It's not, I don't really think it's the time. I think it's just taking the criticism. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing that could be a big problem. It's like, if, if you're getting crapped on all the time um, for what what essentially is nothing, you know. Yeah, but you're also... Oh, yeah, but he's also being commended at the same time. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I know... Uh, this is apparently what DL told me was the reason he doesn't do any TASs anymore. Apparently the TAS... Some people in the TA, TAS community didn't even like how he was doing it. Yeah. Like, I don't what, know if that all, all the tool assisted speedruns? Like what? Like specifically? Yeah. I, I, well, how is he doing it? How, like, how is he doing it? I, like, I don't know how doing? he was doing it. I never asked. All he, all he knows is some people just didn't like the way he was doing it. He, that's what he said. Yeah. In all fairness, they might just want, like, the most skillful ones. DL might have been, like, showing off. Being like, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what TAS is? Just show off how pitiful we are in video games. Let's just show how good you are. How, how, yeah. Yeah, to show off how, how humans can barely play video games. <laughs> And how they can actually be played. With knowing every button. And that's uh, TES and computers like that. That might be and that might be able to do that in real time now. Will make online gaming very, very difficult for people. Because you'll have one person um, basically put a bot in the match that's damn near unperceptible. But they, they, they would ruin matches for a lot of players. Because they don't have the same skill set. Uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. You know how AI art's getting crazy now, too? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same way with that. You know, AI is... A, uh, remember when they said they're uh, afraid of Skynet? Yeah, we're getting yeah. close to it. Close to Skynet levels of, um... Like, it's how okay, AI... Ar yeah, how AI could behave. It's okay. Arnold's governor now. He'll he'll save us. He's, he has been governor for, like, eight years, though, hasn't he? Is he still governor? Yeah, exactly. He probably is, actually. I see people like whenever like people play like old videos of him, they're always saying like that's my president, that's my governor. <laughs> that's my McBain. I ain't got shit today. I got skunk so hard today. But yeah, I do miss the old Mugen streams with Doom Guy. Those were fun. Um I think he's been busy as hell too. I don't even know how his how his uh, parent uh, his mom is, you know. And then you have um, who else used to join in? Uh, Me Neo, Neo Mega Man, I think. Um, who else? I don't know if Baltus ever joined in. Did he? That was a long time. Dude, that's so long ago. I can't believe it was that long ago. Uh, Skagoy. Yeah, it's, it's surprising I've been around this long. I should really just be uh, be done, you know? Mm hmm You know, if I had the time to edit, maybe I would, but I... I, I used to have fun. Believe it or not, I used to have fun editing. And it'd be great, you know. I, 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 just, I, I used to go off. Uh, I used to try and go off as hard as I could on Pokemon and stuff. And then you'd you'd put in all this work, and then nothing, no comments, no nothing. And then you'd be like, "Well, I'll try again." And then eventually, you're like, "Okay, I guess I'll stop trying." When you realize that it's like that, it's like YouTube. Uh, you know, it's like you, you can't even find your search search terms too sometimes. He says he's interested in like hanging out while he's streaming. Yeah, what's he interested in doing? Hanging out. Hanging out. Oh, gonna 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 jump in like we players, okay? Okay, you want me to join? Yeah. All yeah. Alright. He wants me to join? Okay. Yeah, I asked him if you want if you want if ask I told him you were streaming too. I said do you wanna hang out while with us while well, both your streams are going on. He said, sure. Uh, I could actually end my stream right now. I think I made Jason uh, Voorhees red enough. Up to you, but I'm going to jump in with public, okay? Yeah. Yeah.
will be done. See you guys later.